I'm from UK. Um, I've been here in Vietnam for four and a half years. Um, I didn't really intend to come here, so I was traveling um, around Asia. And then while I was here, I met my girlfriend, it's now my girlfriend. It was kind of before, just before COVID. I was supposed to go home, but I decided not to. But then when I decided to stay, I needed to find a job. So <laughs> I kind of thought teaching is probably a good thing to do. I was looking for a new career anyway. As a foreigner here, that's kind of one of the only jobs you can do, really. So, <laughs> but no, it was nice. It was, um, it's a nice opportunity to do something different and to do something more rewarding. Something that you can see the results. As previously, I just worked for big companies and restaurants, so it's different. <laughs> uh, no, I'd never, I'd never taught before, so I was a restaurant manager before, so I had training experience, but not really teaching. Uh, yeah, so you need a bachelor degree and TEFL certificate at minimum. Um, a lot of places now are asking for your, your degree to be in education or in English, which mine isn't. Um, but I'm currently studying for my master's, so I'm doing the master's in education alongside teaching. Uh, they were okay. My friends were kind of surprised. Uh, my family, maybe not so surprised because they knew I wanted to travel and go around the world. So uh, they were happy that I was happy. Uh, for the medium term, I think, probably not forever. It's not really a place that you can retire as a foreigner. So, but medium term, the next two, three, four years, probably. And then maybe we'll move somewhere else. My girlfriend is also studying her master's as well. So when we both, when we both have our master's, we can go somewhere else, probably. Obviously, this is public school. It's very short lessons and quite a fast-paced curriculum. So we have a lot of content to get through and not much time to do it. So usually we have maybe the first five, 10 minutes introducing the language, new vocabulary, uh, practicing pronunciation, and then introducing the grammar. And then usually we'll do a practice activity and then like a more creative. I'm not adapting because this is the only place that I've taught. So I've had to adapt to culture here, I guess. Um, but I'd say the biggest challenge with teaching Vietnamese students is probably pronunciation. Um, Vietnamese students tend to not pronounce like the final consonant sound words, so they'll say like cat, dog. So it's, it's, it's really hard to train them to pronounce the words in English as they should be. It's in Vietnamese, that's difficult. And well, grammar as well. I guess grammar in Vietnamese is quite simple. English sometimes is very complicated, so that's the thing that they don't struggle with. Um, I'd say just try. <laughs> if, you, if you qualify for it and if you have the right kind of mindset to be a teacher and you enjoy working with kids, then it's definitely worth trying. Uh, I've enjoyed it. It's coming from a different kind of uh, career. It's nice to come into a teaching role and it's nice to see it's improvement, it's nice to see them develop, see how they improve. Uh, yeah, it's more rewarding. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, follow.